Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Lille, France. It's the first semifinal of Eurobasket 2015 between France and Spain. And you can see right here, this is the main event in France. And no doubt about it, back in Spain, all eyes on this court right here. Well, Collet is going to go with uh, the same starting lineup. Gobert, Bordeaux, uh, Batum, Tony Parker, and Nando De Colo, as you said. Of course, De Colo uh, spent years playing for Valencia Basket in Spain, and he knows all of these Spanish players, and uh, he's actually married uh, to a Spaniard. Well, he starts just like he did in the last game after missing the Poland game, along with Pau Rivas, Sergio Yul, uh, Nikola Mirotic, Mirotic, excuse me, and Pau Gasol. Pau Gasol has just taken his game to new heights, and Mirotic, uh, has been big as well. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Little France. It's the Eurobasket 2015, the first semifinal, and it's Spain against France. And this atmosphere is as hot as it comes in international basketball. Gasol gets it inside, and they pass it out to Miritich. Long rebound out to Yule. He finds Pau Rivas. He passes up the shot over to Gasol just behind the line, and the veteran. The 35-year-old Gasol puts Spain in front. Mirodich. And gets it back from Gasol, the little give and go. That's a smart play right there. Mirodich fakes out Gobert, and then takes a pass back from Gasol. Pau Rivas bounce pass to Gasol, gets it back to Pau. And oh, Pau Gasol was there just to clean up the mess. I thought it was an air ball there almost by Rivas, but Pau, with his active hands and feet, just stays involved in the play. What do you follow it up? Dio goes up against Reyes. Oh, the pass into Gobert. Gobert is swatted by Gasol. A little yeah. bit of payback from last year. Oh, Gasol, quick move, goes up, strong, and Gobert can't stop him. And this is what you have to do against the shot block of the quality of Rudy Gobert. You have to spin into him. You have to draw contact and go hard up, go up hard. Jump shot for Nicola Batum, and now Spain with a chance to run. And Gasol goes right down the lane and dunks it. And LeBron's going to be careful because Paul Gasol has been looking to run the fast break. And Paul's up to eight points. He's leading Spain. No look pass. They get it to Gasol. Passes up the jumper. He puts it up and earns a trip to the free throw line. So he has nine points. MVP of the uh, FIBA Basketball World Cup back in 2006. Gasol's been averaging almost 29 minutes a game. But I think he's going to have to play more today. He comes off and it's 41 seconds there until the end of the first quarter. I expect that he's going to be off only for those 41 seconds. Rodriguez quickly to Pau Gasol. And Pau puts it up. Tries to head it in. And Pau Gasol makes one of his two free throws. So he makes one of two. Gasol backs up Gobert. Puts it up and in. Two points for. And it's like you Paul said, Gasol. he's not avoiding him. He's going right at him. Parker to Nicolo. And ball batted away. Now quickly up to Yule. Can he get it? Yes, he does. All the way over to Rudy Fernandez. Sets his feet, puts it up. It's good. Three pointers made. Have taken the lead. Points for. And he set his feet up, making a pump fake. One dribble to the left. He had all the time in the world to dial that three pointer. Saul gets in the lane, puts up a high arcing shot, and Rudy Gobert went up to try to knock it off the rim, but it just took a high bounce off the rim and came down. Look at Pau Gasol. Deal has the shot hit, or the pass uh, batted away, but then Miritich can't control it to get it back to Gobert. He goes right at Gasol. Gasol stands there like a tower of power, and the ball goes back over to Spain. This is just a phenomenal game. Go one side and the other. Rudy Gobert challenged by Pau Gasol. How about Pau Gasol? He's been huge there for Spain. Gasol again gets in the lane. And fouled again by Rudy Gobert. Takes his time and makes the second. Shell ball wide open. Go! He knows I would love a three-pointer. Three-pointer number two for Shell Ball in the game today. I tell you what, George. He is playing his finest Eurobasket, I've decided. He has been so consistent, such a spark. Gasol turns, draws the foul on Lover. Spain just trying to uh, close the gap here at the end of the quarter. Paul Gasol is getting close to his average of 23 and a half points right now after 20. Well, he's able to get it to Gasol. He's going to go to work on Gobert. And goes up under and draws the foul. 
foul, and that's foul number four. He he foul number around. three on Gobert. And, and the free throw is good, so is good. Back to seven points. Seven point lead for France. 538 remaining. And a foul called on Gobert. Pushing him away from the basket, and now that is four fouls. Makes and that one as well. And now back to a five-point game. Five point lead for France. Look at Saul, sets the pick. Now he's gonna roll. He's gonna stay out. No, he's gonna put it on the deck. He's yeah. going in for the dunk! And Powell oh, looks up at the heavens. The two-handed jam, and it's a one-point game. France. He's playing like an absolute monster. Up to 28 points, shooting 64% from the field. From the field. I mean, what does Spain do in this tournament without Paul Gasol? You tell me, Jack. Well, he's just been a mess. He's been carrying this team on his back. France have got to dig in and play some D. It's Gasol. He puts up a hook shot. Oh it's bad. Oh it's going back in front. 62 to 61. He pulls out the old school. I carry him up to Jabbar Skyhook. Are you kidding me? Paul Gasol's got it all. Batum puts up a tough shot. And Gasol bats it away, but a foul called on Felipe Reyes. Big free throws from Nicola Batum. Inside the he makes both, so puts France back in front. Big free throws there. What an incredible scene. And to be honest, I think we expected it, didn't we? we it did. was coming down close. Gasol again with Gobert. France with the help out, possibly. And he has to put a little turn away, a turnaround jumper, and he looks over at the Spain bench and says, Who's your daddy? Is there anybody in the world right now that can stop Paul Gasol? How high is his confidence? Batum. Fade away, short. Gasol gets it into the hands of Reyes. Rodriguez gets inside, passes back out to Rudy Fernandez. Spain a little lost on this possession as Rudy. Gasol challenges, but Rudy Gobert knocks it to Ducolo. And this time, Ducolo called for the charge, and the hero, Felipe Reyes, takes one for the team. Spain up by one, beaten by this French team last year in the quarterfinals of the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Is this going to be payback for Spain? Guess all. Backs up Gobert. Goes up with a hook again. This time denied, but he gets the rebound. And he passes out to Yule. Eight seconds difference, or 12 seconds difference between shot clock and the game clock. Rodriguez gets a lane, puts it up, he scores! Spain had taken a three-point lead with 16.6 seconds remaining. Batum gets it. Nicolas Batum to the rescue for France. Unbelievable things. Cool, calm, and collected. Watch out for some steals. Some teams have long arms. You have to play safe just to inbound the ball. They're going to have to get it to Rodriguez and let him try to penetrate, I would imagine. Nope, they're going to get it to Gasol immediately. He's going to wait. Nine on the shot. No, nine on the game clock. Eight. Gasol gets in the lane. Puts it up. He swatted. Now France with a chance. And the ball goes out of bounds with 1.3 seconds remaining. It's going to go to Batum. Watch him. He's watching the ball. Look at that. He's going to go there. Put it away. He puts it up! Oh, it was on line, but it was short. And with that, we go to overtime. That's all rolls. Gets inside, draws the foul, and that's Gobert's last. He has fouled out of the game. That's all. And again, the free throw is now. He's 15 of 17. And those are the types of things you have to do to win big games. Batum. Bounce pass to Levert, and he fumbles it away. He couldn't catch it. Now Yule. Back to Gasol, and he dunks it again. And Spain back in front. I tell you, it was a well-conceived play with Batum and Levert. They just didn't pull it off. Tony Parker now. He puts up a jumper. He gets a block by Rudy. Unbelievable how the game has turned in Tony Parker. 11 seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock again. Just when it seemed France had Spain right where they wanted him, Yule drives in. Rodriguez from the corner. Falcons off for the follow. And Spain has gone back in front. 78 75.
Time Just out. when you think you've seen everything, everything happens. I'm speechless after another. I am so speechless at the moment. Paul got so where did he find the energy and the strength to go up for the key offensive George. rebound? Spain right now definitely with the advantage. He misses it intentionally, and Spain get the rebound quickly up to Rudy over to Yule. And it's not looking good for France now. Spain closing in on one of their all-time famous victories. It goes to Gasol. And revenge is sweet one year later. Having had their FIBA Basketball World Cup spoiled by this French team, Spain have come out and shocked the world. They have beat the host nation France in the Congratulations to Spain as they move on to the final game on Sunday. 40 points for Pau Gasol. Spain win it 80 to 75. They're in the final and they have also qualified for the Olympics.